You might think that you've never watched anime, but popular 90s TV series such as Sailor Moon and Pokemon were not just cartoons, they were anime. It's the Japanese word for animation, and Western fans are familiar with this distinct animation style from productions aimed at children and adults alike. They are mainly adapted from Japanese graphic novels called manga. Although anime has gained global success, production houses in Japan often struggle to make ends meet. While many animators work punishingly long hours for infamously low wages. This has opened up debate about whether the industry is actually in decline. The debut of anime on the streaming service Netflix has shaken up the industry by shifting the business model and giving some creative freedom to animators. Before, anime was only available on the website Crunchyroll for viewers outside Japan. But now Netflix offers rich content and is working on releasing 30 original titles this year. Here is a look at some classics and also some exciting new productions. Bleach is the story of a high schooler called Ishigo Kurosaki, born with the ability to see ghosts. He becomes a so-called soul reaper when his family is attacked by a lost soul and dedicates his life to protecting and helping tortured spirits find peace. One of the top productions to come out of Japan, this tale of two alchemist brothers has been praised for its diverse set of characters, interesting storyline and balance of action and humour. The 2017 live action adaptation was criticised by the anime's director, though for having an all-Japanese cast in a story set in a fictional European country. Death Note is a classic cat and mouse detective drama that branches out into the realm of the supernatural, in which deaf gods and magical notebooks are the norm. When Light Yagami gets his hands on a notebook that allows him to kill anyone whose name he writes in it, he begins a campaign to cleanse the world of criminals. Netflix produced a live action adaptation last year, with fans debating whether Asian actors should rather have been used. Shall we begin? <laughs> According to The Hollywood Reporter, Japan's anime industry pulled in a record $17 billion last year, boosted by Makoto Shinkai's smash hit Your Name, growing exports and revenue from mobile game licensing. Described by critics as Japan's most stunning anime, the feature-length Your Name is about two Japanese teenagers who embark on a quest to meet each other for the first time after they magically swap bodies. Neo Yokio. One of Netflix's original anime projects, Neo Yokio, tells the story of a fashionable demon hunter struggling to stay afloat in the elite fictional society of Neo Yokio. May her memory be blessed. Veterans of Japan's famous studio Ghibli branched out to create their own company last year releasing their feature-length animated movie, Mary and the Witch's Flower, under the name Studio Ponak. Although some Studio Ghibli fans say the storyline copies Kiki's delivery service, there is potential for the future in this new studio.